7 out of 52. Didn't think we'd get this far. <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> On this week's episode, we go to Arch Brewing. We unbox some new equipment. And we tell you how we met. Client day. Client day Tuesday. Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Tuesday was bad. Tuesday was rough. <laughs> so I'm just gonna give the background history while he's away. Y'all know we went to Profusion a couple weeks ago. Um, but when we were down there, we seen they had a, uh, a seven inch lily putt, this new one that they just came out with, um, that supposedly is incredible for the price. I think it cost us like 170 bucks. It just came in yesterday? No. Two days ago. Two days ago. Well, look, so we, we waited. A, we waited for you. Yeah. Uh, this is it. This is the box. Well, how do we do these things? You say, oh, this is nice. This box is nice. It comes in a little thing. There it is. Anyway, we're going to have to play around with this thing. Instead of rolling camera for another hour while we do that. Um, we'll play around with it and maybe we'll come back to you and tell you all the cool things that it does. We really could have used the monitor today. Johnny's email, emailing Julio. Julio! Shout out Julio. <laughs> this is a song from the 90s by DJ Lassa called Julia. And the first time I met Julio, it just came into my head. And that was years ago. Really? Yeah. And it has not left. So I've recently introduced Julio to Julia, and he loves it. Shout out Julio. It's just thing Shout out DJ Lassa. <laughs> okay. So. Johnny, question. If you're gonna start a vlog, yeah. or you're gonna start start into the camera filming, camera industry yeah. business, mm -hmm. you, say you've got 2,000 bucks to spend. Okay. What do you spend that money on? Three things. A camera. So my next one in my head would be a mic. Like mm -hmm. audio is so important, audio is so key. My third one would be, I'm gonna say a light. Oh, wow. I did not expect that. Now that you say light, that changes some things for me. But what I would have said was uh, a camera within that you can pl plug the audio directly into, good microphone, and then I would get uh, like an eighteen. I would get a Sigma eighteen to thirty five. But the reason I ask, ask me why I ask. Why did you ask, Sasha? Because we have a fan living on a boat in the Caribbean. His name is Rob Prince. Shout out Rob Prince. He gets a salute as well. The guy I went to university with, yeah. he's been watching our vlog, and he said he, he's been learning a lot and he's been taking notes. Sick. Because he is planning on buying a, um, he's buying a new boat, and he's planning on sailing across the Pacific, and he wants to document it. Sick. That changes those three things for me, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, today we're going to do something a little different. I thought, um, we've been talking about doing our little story. Story about, you know, how we met? Oh, yeah. Let's go shoot that. Okay. Hey everybody, I'm Sasha. I am Johnny. Otherwise, Otherwise known as J-Rock! <laughs> so we get asked one question a lot, and that is, why are you guys doing this? Why? That actually has two answers. One is that we're just starting a business together, and we're documenting that process, and we're inviting you guys along on the journey. Uh, the second answer <laughs> is true. because, um, if you notice how our videos are labeled, it's like one out of 52, three out of 52, whatever it might be. So we're giving ourselves 52 weeks, so 52 episodes, to find out how many subscribers we can get within the year. One of the things that we also thought would be fun to do, which is the purpose of this particular video, is uh, to show a little, tell a little story about uh, how this thing all got started. 
this is how my life <laughs> took a turn for the worst. <laughs> this is how we met. The year is 2004. Janet Jackson's boob is out at the Super Bowl, launching something called YouTube. Usher's got everybody saying, yeah! And I'm still living at my parents, and I'm riding this bike. It's my job at a bowling alley. In 2004, my aunt and uncle um, went to a church that bought a bowling alley in Aurora. My dad got asked to come and help out and do some work. During that time, I joined in, uh, just tagged along, wasn't interested in the hands-on uh, building part of it, but uh, I did some work in the bowling alley center instead. This is where we met. I was uh, the resident pin monkey. I was the only pin monkey left because everybody else had left because a church had bought the bowling alley. So I stuck around to help with the transition and uh, Johnny Russell walked in one day. He took a liking to the, the lane stuff and um, eventually ended up getting a job and that's how we met and that's how we started to bond. Trick shots. We spent so much time at this place, it was practically our first home. Take a look at this clip. In this bowling alley, because it was so old, there was a lot of like little problems and it had a lot of little things that you had to kind of learn how to do. So one of them was unjam the five pin machine. Every single week, no matter what, lanes would jam. These lanes we had to oil manually because the machine broke. We had this little like, um, like a weed killer thing that would fill up with oil and then you'd go down and you'd spray it and then you had to had to like lay the oil out properly and like um, people that would come in who were serious about bowling would be complaining about the oil. I love this place, but I hated this job. In August 2005, I went off to uni at Sheffield in England and Johnny, believe it or not, cried about it. I didn't find this out until much later. Back in Canada, Johnny was still working at the alley and when it came time for college, he went into TV and broadcasting. So in September 2012, uh, I ended up getting a uh, an internship with Rogers TV Georgina. Shout out Rogers TV Georgina. Later, I got a part-time job with them January 2013. Same month, I bought my Jetta. That job later returned full-time for me, but it was it was a challenge for me. I was straight out of school basically, but it was a great experience for me. I'm really thankful for it. Shout out Jim Anderson um, for you know trusting me in that and, and taking me. On so that I could grow my uh, grow my skills um, to where I'm at today. So during my five years here at Rogers TV Georgina, we had so many different people walk through that front door, including our very own behind the camera right now, Sasha Sudat. Ready, floor director in three, two, one, cameras up. Hey, so I started volunteering at Rogers and ended up pitching a show, and that show was Major Minors. It was about a group of 10-year-old hockey kids, and I'm standing in the spot where we shot the very first interview with Jason. And on the strength of that TV series, I ended up getting a job uh, working as a producer on a TV show that shot out of the CBC, and that pretty much taught me everything I know. So take a look at this stuff, we'll catch up with you in a bit. This is hard because we have to talk about how we left our jobs. I left my job because uh, a bunch of things happened and uh, the organization I was with got bought by a different organization and I didn't end up going. Um, and so I went out on my own and at the same time... I left Rogers. Um, that's all I can really say about that because of contracts. Um, but it was the best thing that ever happened to me. Within a couple of weeks of Johnny signing a contract that prevents him from saying anything about the contents of the contract or why he signed it, uh, we got a call from Jack Cohen, uh, which is the guy who I was uh, at university with in Sheffield a couple of years ago. So Jack called me up, he said uh, he was launching his brand, he was launching his product and he wanted us to go with him. Shout out Nasslis. I called Johnny because Johnny had time and uh, we ended <laughs> up in 19 days uh, producing the entire launch of Nasslis brand. California! Knows how to party. Hey, hey. California. We weren't in LA. So. <laughs> we were in Santa Clara. It was cool though. It was fun. So 
that's it. Shout out Jack Cohen. Shout out John Hanks. That's pretty much it. That's our story. Thanks for taking the time to get to know us a little bit more. You know, we always want to we always want to chat, um, talk to you about stuff. If we can ever help you be better at what you do, um, you can always drop us a line. Um, you can email us info at miraclemountain.ca. Hit us up on Instagram at Miracle Mountain Media Group. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit us up on Facebook, Miracle Mountain Media Group. We're happy to answer back and um, you know see if we can help you. Definitely thought that was on site. <laughs>